Hello everybody, this is me here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a multicolored 3D print on any 3D printer. You can th you can use this model, which you can use any model. I'm just using this low poly bubble sword by Flow Alistic. And, well, let's go ahead and get into it. So first you need to go ahead and put the file into your slicer, like if you're using Ultimate or Cura, go ahead and load that up. So, we just need to have the G-code, and that's all you'll really need to do anything else. Hope you guys enjoy. Once we have that going, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to time lapse in between because by the time I get that set up, then, yeah. I'll be back in a few seconds for you when it's time to change the filament. So just start the print with, like you would any other ordinary print. Oh yeah, and your printer's going to have to have the option to pause the print or go into tune. And there should be a button at the all the way bottom that says change filament. It might not be in that exact menu. I don't know why that's doing that. So... Let's just go ahead and wait for the print to start all that. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and change the filament. So first step is to go over here to our menu. We're going to go to pause print, er, tune, change filament, or you can pause the print and use my filament changing video to teach you how to change filament while it's paused. Change filament. It'll move around, then it'll do this. If you have the printer with me. And then it's going to start making a very horrendous beeping noise in like three or four seconds. Yeah, you're going to hear that the whole time. So, if you own an Ender 3, you can just pull the rest of this filament out. It lets you do that on purpose. Then you round up all this extra filament. Sorry if that beeping is very annoying. And then, see your other filament to the side. You take your other filament, so I'm going to make the top of this Bulbasaur blue. You put it in the hole like you would when you change the filament. I need two hands. All right, here, I'm just gonna point this right here. I'm gonna use Bulbasaur. There, okay. So then we go ahead and get this in here. Why is it being troublesome? And then, it should, we need to make sure that only blue filaments, actually no, we only just need to make sure that there's some in there. And then on my printer in particular, we just push the knob and it'll go right back to printing. See? Simple, right? But is that offset? 